It's 3188. Innovators Robotics. Their alliance partners, 3180. Players of glory. All right, running out of this alliance, it's 1501. Team Thrust. Down on blue. Hey, Josh, what alliance is this? What? Oh, Cyber who? Cyber Blue! 9234! Their partners, it's 4926! Galactic! And rounding things out, it's 5944! Rookie team, Robot Pioneers! So we have our number four seed in red, our number six seed in blue. Starting off the second half of our quarterfinal tournament. Green on the field, drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, rush! Autonomous mode of uh, quarterfinal five. Kind of forgot what match it was. It's cool though. No autonomous score seems likely in this period. What? That's five. Danny doesn't know what he's talking about. Tele operated period now underway. All six robots now showing signs of life there. Team Thrust back at the Red Alliance human player wall. They have a yellow tote they're going to use as kind of a bounce pad here, and they're going to start loading in totes underneath that recycling can they've already wedged in there. Their alliance partners are furthest away team here, Innovators Robotics, loading up totes also at the human player wall. They've had an interesting strategy today. They'll put together part of a stack with a recycling can, sit it down, and then shimmy some totes under it later. We'll see if they keep doing that or if they've gone back to the whiteboard now that we're in the playoff rounds. Pool Noodle goes across, gets wedged in the blue landfill zone there. It's gonna be no score for anybody. Team Thrust, they have 36 points of cargo in that robot working its way up onto the scoring platform. Alliance Partners Innovators Robotics just dropped off, well, 12 points maybe. If that recycling can doesn't take the whole stack down with it, we'll see. On the other side of the field now, 49-26. Galactic trying to unwedge these totes from the landfill zone. They have just over a minute to do so before the match will expire. 31-38 back at it again. Loading totes in. Seeming to go with the same strategy they've done so far today. Team Thrust, meanwhile, has the recycling can. They're ready to make another stack. The previous stack no longer has a recycle can, so they're just going to try and put a new stack up on the board now. 40 seconds to see what they can do with it. Innovators Robotics carrying the bottom four totes of this stack strategy. The stack could be worth 36 points if they manage to convert it. Their alliance partners blaze a glory in the 3180 machine, working on the inner step along with Innovators. They're adding four points of cargo and then taking off all but two of it. Team Thrust knocks over a tower of totes. Two of them remain, and they're going to push those four points up onto the scoring platform with seven seconds left to play in the match. 49-26, Galactic finally has control of a tote. They're going to set it on top of the Blue Alliance step. And we're going to tally this up, and we'll be back in a minute.
We have scores from that last match while Danny decides what he wants to do. Red Alliance, 54 points. Blue Alliance, 24. Oh, wonderful. I'm joined here field side with the wonderful Katie Dreisbeck. Thank you for joining us. Now, give us a little bit of your background and tell us you know, where you are now, what involvement you had in first, and how that got you to where you are. Okay, so I am a student currently at IEPUI studying mechanical engineering technology. I am an alumni from Team 3947, The Last Crusaders, and I'm kind of a part-time mentor. I'm there when I can be, but I am a student, so I have to focus on that. And here in a week from Monday, actually, I am beginning a four-year full-time apprenticeship as a mechanical drafting apprentice at Cummins. Oh, wow. So how did your experience in FIRST lead you into this job that you are, are going to be starting here in a week or so? Uh, 